Hi Jeff, um, this is Saurav from India and uh, my ask Jeff question is whenever I'm doing my bicep curls I get a very sharp and a nagging pain in the, this portion of my wrist and it whole, only happens during the exercise uh, which involves the bubble curl so the outer parts aches a lot and I'm not able to twist it in this direction and this is fine this this movement and this movement is having a problem with that. So, thank you. Thanks, my man, for the question. It's actually a very good question because this is a common problem that guys will have when they are doing the curls, especially with the barbell. And a lot of it is anatomical, and a lot of it also has to do with how we're performing the barbell curl. So I'll tell you why it's actually you're getting that pain in that spot right on the inside part of the wrist, maybe even radiating down into the forearm. And more importantly, what you could do so you can start doing curls again and not have to suffer that pain. If you looked at, at the anatomical part of this, right, we have two bones that make up our forearm. We have the radius here, and then we have the ulna on the underside. So the radius anatomically is longer than the ulna. So you can see right as I put my fingers on the corners of those two bones, you could do this yourself, just hook right on the end of, the, of your wrist. You'll see that my middle finger here is on top of the radius. That's longer and further down than the edge and end of my ulna, which is right here. Okay? What happens is our body wants to equalize that difference. So there's a little bit of a uh, cartilaginous disc that sits right in between the end of the ulna and then into the carpal bones. So we kind of we close that gap down of the length difference between the two sides. Keep that in mind because now when we go grab a barbell and we go try to do our barbell curls, what happens is as you try to curl a barbell, think about what you might do. You might try to start lifting, like getting more of your body English into the move to help you to lift that heavier weight. Well, what happens is your elbows almost come underneath a little bit because what you're trying to do is actually get a little bit of help from your pecs as you squeeze them together. You're almost doing a little bit of a, of a crossover underneath and lifting that way. So as you do that, you get your shoulders involved too. As you do that, your wrists are actually feeling this type of torque and force even though they're restricted by the straightness of the bar. But as you do this and you're pushing all that weight down, you're also getting that supination here at the wrist. Well, take this, turn your wrist upside down, okay, like this, bend it back and pull down. And even guys that don't have pain in the wrist are going to find that the inside portion of the wrist, right in that area where that disc is, you feel some pain because you're basically compressing that and causing a, a pretty uncomfortable sensation. You do that over and over and over again, you could actually wear down and cause damage to that cartilage uh, disc that in between the ulna and your carpal bones. So again, as you curl up and you're trying to come, you're getting that, that uh, supination and downward force and that causes that pinch. So the two things you can do to fix it, number one are lift a little bit lighter weight because if you're not having to do this and you can keep it nice and strict, your wrist will stay nice and neutral like this and you can probably curl it without much pain or even better if you want to start curling the heavier weight and not have the pain use an easy bar because the easy bar will give your wrist a chance to be in this position here so now when I curl up I'm not feeling a lot of that uh, that torque right there at the disc I hope you found this answer helpful I know it's going to help you if you start going back and focusing on the way you're doing the exercise and then maybe the alternative way to do it with an easy curl bar. In the meantime, guys, if you want to have your question answered here on Ask Jeff, remember, this is my way to give back to you guys. You've supported our channel now over a million subscribers. We do have a million subscriber video coming. Stay tuned. But I want to make sure I answer more of your questions. Make sure you send them down here to MediaRelations at AthletX.com and make sure, guys, there are videos because the videos are going to be what I play here to answer your question. All right, I'll see you back here again really soon.